how's everything going with the assistant? I know you hired a new person. You said there were some challenges. Jerry, what is the deal with this review? You know I am one of the hardest working guys on your team. Charlie, can we talk about this a little bit later? No, on? we need to talk about this now. Can you guys excuse us really quickly? Yeah, please excuse us. Excuse me. Yeah. Jerry, I am the hardest working team member that you have, and you know it. Charlie, if you take an honest look at your performance, I'm sure that even <laughs> you'll, that you'll understand that your numbers are just not there. Agreed, the only thing I agree upon is that you have been trying to get me fired since you got here. So no, what are you gonna do to change this, huh? Charlie, you're not gonna come in my office and tell <laughs> me what to do, all right? In case if you've forgotten, of the two of us, I'm the boss, all yeah, right? Yeah, and you are a joke as a boss. You can't manage, you can't lead, you can I'm not listening oh, to this, all right? You can't manage, you can't Charlie, lead. Charlie, get out of here or I'll call security. Hey, go ahead. Fine. You know what? I will leave. Out of here. I promise you. You got five seconds. I promise you. Four, I three, will be two, back. one. Hi, I'm Clint Emerson, retired Navy SEAL and crisis management professional. If you've been in the workforce for a while, you've probably witnessed scenes like these. Though no blows were exchanged, these are actual examples of workplace violence. We believe that every member has a right to a safe and secure work environment. In support of this, we've developed a comprehensive workplace violence and weapons policy. This training is part of a larger program. In many cases, learning how to recognize threatening behavior and using certain techniques can prevent escalating disruptive behavior. Today, we're going to talk about warning signs and techniques that can be used to defuse potentially dangerous situations. Let's begin with some definitions. When we're talking about workplace violence, we're not just talking about physical assaults. Workplace violence also includes threats, harassments, and abusive or offensive language. Threats can be expressed in many ways. They can be verbal, written, or physical. This can include threatening behavior, intimidation, belligerent speech, excessive arguing, acting out, or anything that implies violence. Now let's learn some techniques to defuse potentially violent situations. These strategies should be only used when a weapon is not present or there is no immediate threat to you or anyone else. Remember, when dealing with an agitated person, it's about them, not you. Think before you react. The individual may be feeling threatened, scared, or hurt. Anger is often displaced onto convenient targets like you. In most cases, the individual just wants to be heard. Keep a good attitude about the interaction and a positive view of the individual. Your goal is to keep a potentially dangerous situation from escalating. The best way to do this is control your reactions. Always think through potential scenarios before they occur, that way you'll be prepared and won't panic. To help defuse tensions, here's a handy acronym, C-A-L-M. Calm. C. C stands for remaining calm above all. Be aware of your own feelings, responses, and sensitivities. The way you express yourself has a significant effect on how others respond to you. Your natural reaction is to mirror the other person's body language and emotions. Be as neutral as possible in your nonverbal expressions, facial, body language, and tone of voice. Never respond to emotion with emotion. It's obviously easy to say, but difficult to do. Calm can be just as contagious as fear or panic. Even if you don't necessarily feel calm on the inside, project a calm face on the outside. Remaining calm can keep a potentially dangerous situation from escalating. A, A stands for acknowledge the human dignity of the individual. In many cases, the person is simply seeking validation or recognition. Treat the person as you would want someone to treat you. If they are yelling, lower your voice. They'll have to stop to hear you. Listen closely to the individual and give your full attention. Ask how you can help. Reserve judgment and be empathetic. Speak slowly, one person at a time. Repeat information and paraphrase to confirm meaning. Focus on the person's feelings. 
So just to recap, what I'm hearing you say is that you don't believe that your actual performance was accurately accounted for in this performance review? No, not at all. L. L stands for loop. The de-escalation loop is designed to make the person feel like they've been heard, for you to correctly understand the issue and for control to be maintained. Here's what you do. Remain calm at all times. I can't emphasize enough how important being calm is. The only thing you can control is your reaction. Acknowledge the person and try to have a discussion. Treat the person with respect. Give the person space, more than an arm's length away. Ask to take notes. Always document. I'm gonna take some notes uh, so that we can get this down as accurately as possible from your point of view. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Use silence to cool things off and break a heated rhythm. When possible, give a person a choice between alternatives. Set limits, offering a positive choice first. Ask the person for ideas or solutions. Use simple words. Here are some things to avoid doing. Avoid long waits or keeping people on hold. Avoid giving orders or responding to insults. Don't fake attention. Don't make false promises. Don't use jargon. Don't answer challenging questions or get into a power struggle. Don't tell the person to calm down. M. M stands for manage. Manage the situation ahead of time. Identify common scenarios that may cause you to interact with an anxious or threatening individual. Determine the steps you'll take to protect yourself and summon help. Now let's see how we can use calm techniques to defuse a potentially dangerous situation. And how's everything going with the assist? I know you hired a new person. You said there were some challenges. Jerry. What is the deal with this review? You know I'm one of the hardest working guys on your team. Charlie, can we talk about this a little bit later? No, we need to talk about this now. Can you guys excuse us really quickly? Yeah, please excuse us. Excuse me. Yeah. Jerry, I am the hardest working team member that you have, and you know it. Charlie, Thank come you. on in. Have a seat. Let's, let's Jerry, talk about it. this review is killing me. I will never get promoted. Why would you do that to me? I understand, Charlie. Come on over. Let's sit down. Let's talk about it. No. All right, come on. Fine. There. You want to talk about it? We'll talk about it. Okay. I am upset. I am very upset. It doesn't even reflect the year that I had. I had a great year. Am I hearing you say that you don't believe that your performance was accurately measured in the performance review? That's exactly what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to take some notes uh, so that we can get this down as accurately as possible from your point of view. Are you okay with that? Fine, yeah. So, uh, your numbers from last year. If the situation turns suddenly violent and you are in intimate physical danger, abandon the de-escalation strategies and seek immediate safety. Follow the run, hide, fight approach. Run away from the danger. If shots are fired, identify the direction of the bullets to avoid running into harm's way. Hide until the threat has passed. Fight only if you have to. The goal is to create enough space and time between you and the assailant to escape to safety. If your life is in imminent danger and other options have failed or are unavailable, attempt to incapacitate the attacker. Work as a team and use improvised weapons to subdue the assailant. This is a life or death situation, so fight aggressively to defend yourself. Call 911 as soon as possible. It's important to report all threatening or violent incidents promptly and accurately whether or not physical injury has occurred. Include as much detail as possible. There will be no reprisals or negative job consequences. Working together, we can achieve this goal.